Today in the shop, we are starting the GTI. That's right, our main objective today is to get the GTI started. The previous owner gave me a couple ideas of what was wrong with it. He said primarily it's the fuel pumps in the back that are not delivering fuel. So we are going to start by throwing a battery in it and turning the key for the first time in eight years and seeing what happens. Start it up. Here we go. Moment of truth to see what we are dealing with. We are in neutral. Handbrake is on. Nada. There's the pump. No, no go. Now there is one thing we can do off the bat to check to see if we're actually getting fuel up to the fuel rail. So cracking open one of the fasteners, we will get the fuel pump to run a couple seconds and see if anything comes out. And with that little test, there is no fuel in the fuel rail. So we are going to do a little bit of investigating and see what is wrong with the fuel system. So we will be back in a second uh, with an update. After spending a little bit of time on the fuel system, I figured out that both fuel pumps are bad. There's one inside the main tank that was bad and I went ahead and just replaced that one. And then there was the one inside the surge tank, which was bad. And the surge tank is pretty bad as well. So we are going to go ahead and recondition the surge tank and get it back on the car. The centerpiece to this assembly is of course the old surge tank. You see here that I've cleaned up the locations where the incorporated brackets used to be. I've also cleaned up the side. This is where the fuel filter bracket used to be. To replace the broken parts off of the surge tank, I used my 3D printer to print four of these brackets. Here are three of them assembled with their isolators and I 3D printed a fuel filter bracket as well. To help isolate the brackets, I machined some aluminum spacers that slide into the bracket, and then I pressed some rubber grommets that go over the aluminum sleeve and isolate the bracket. These then get attached to the mounting brackets with some M8 fasteners. Using CAD, I set up an assembly that located these four mounting locations and used the geometry to bend and design these two brackets. These are made out of 065 wall material. I printed the pattern on paper, traced the pattern onto steel, cut it out with my plasma cutter, and then bent them with my metal break. To hold everything in place, we'll be using a piece of MDF that I have drilled the four holes off of the old bracket so that I can locate the new bracket roughly where they're going.
like that, we have a finished rebuilt surge tank. I did a quick test fit and everything looks good. I've already gone ahead and installed the fuel filter to the side of it. Um, I need to still install the pump. I need to run a couple lines to make it easier to install into the car. Get all the lines hooked up and then we will turn the key again and see if it starts this time. If I have this little cup here and I turn the key over a couple times, eventually fuel should fill up that jar. And with that, we have fuel to the fuel rail. So here we go. There could still be air in the fuel system and that's why it died. Um, but let's, let's try it again. One more time. Alrighty, that is awesome. I am so excited about that. I have a running Volkswagen engine. Didn't expect it to start up that easy. Replaced two fuel pumps, turned her over, and once fuel got into the rail, she started right up. I'm super happy with that. But we're gonna end the video here. Thank you for coming along. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I hope you stick around for a while. If you are hanging on from the Toyota build, I'm glad you've decided to stay. Um, this project's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, and I actually have a challenge for you all. Um, I really enjoy making these videos and the support I get in the comment section is amazing, but I'd really like to see this channel grow. And the challenge is to see if we can get to 10,000 subs by the end of the year. It's quite a bit. It's like 7,000 subscribers I need to add, but I am dedicated to putting more videos out since the Toyota truck project is gone. I've got so many little projects and the big Volkswagen project on my plate that the plan now is just to have a video come out every other week. I can handle two videos a month. Um, that gives me a lot of time in between them to really get these projects done. So um, I'm going to dedicate myself to two videos a month for you all. And I'm hoping you all enjoy the channel enough that we could potentially see 10,000 subs before the end of the year. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.